This insect is a killer. Female mosquitoes of certain species kill more than a million people each year by transmitting malaria. So this is our first prototype of the photonic fan. And this device is a weapon in the fight. We're sending light down the room. As the vice president for intellectual ventures, Jeff Dean has a great time on this job. When we first built this, it had a sound of a machine gun on it. <laughs> but his mission is serious. And the machine gun analogy is appropriate. As mosquitoes are coming across a field of view, it's able to pick one mosquito out of a time determine that it's a mosquito and kill it individually and do that many, many times a second. It takes high-tech equipment to do that. Called a photonic fence, it uses a camera, infrared light, and a laser. We're using computers to be able to tell the difference between what's a good insect and a bad insect. And that, that's a different way of controlling insects than anyone's ever done before. And the super slow motion video shows what's happening. Watch the mosquito smoke. Because the system will likely be used off the grid and depend on solar cells and batteries, they want to use just enough energy to get the job done. We want to minimize how much energy we use per kill. Mosquitoes literally shot right out of the air. So, so what's interesting about mosquitoes is they have properties in how they fly. They have a certain size, a certain speed, and they also flap their wings at a certain frequency. Intellectual Ventures is now partnered with a Florida company that will produce and distribute it. And while the most important mission is controlling the mosquitoes that spread malaria, it could also be programmed to shoot down agricultural pests that devastate crops. Winning this war, we really need lots of weapons. This is one. Well, Intellectual Ventures and Florida-based Lighting Science Group still need to figure out just when the photonic fence will become available.